Okay, so <coughs> I think it's been a great day. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed uh, presentations as well as some of the uh, uh, discussions, as far as I understood. And I hope you guys uh, had, had the same. Uh, I'm supposed to uh, give uh, some kind of a summary, but uh, I think it's a silly for me to uh, do that. Uh, I just want to say that uh, we, are <coughs> we are in a very exciting time, uh, particularly, particularly, I would say, this year. As you know, uh, our people uh, got Nobel Prize this year, and uh, uh, we are very uh, pleased about it for uh, <coughs> O'Keefe and John O'Keefe and, uh, Brit and uh, May Britt and uh, Edward uh, Modest. Um, also, uh, this, uh, the uh, Brain Initiative uh, project is underway this year, and I'm sure many of you are pleased about this uh, uh, new uh, intellectual as well as the financial boost for us. And the uh, third thing is something uh, the uh, Rifei already mentioned, it's a bit uh, uh, private for us, but uh, this uh, marks the uh, 20th anniversary of uh, Center MIT, the Center for Learning Memory, <coughs> which is a former entity of the Pikawa Institute. You know, the Pika, uh, Center, Center for Learning Memory started very small. Um, only Matt Wilson and Earl Miller and me, okay? Uh, <laughs> But we have come a long way, and uh, <clears throat> uh, I'm sure in the next uh, at least 20 years, many more probably, uh, we are going to have a continued excitement uh, in uh, new uh, brain science, uh, which is promoted by uh, new knowledge as well as uh, new technologies. Uh, so in that respect, I'm very pleased to see that uh, including the, the presentation, but you know, worldwide, they are more and investigate, more and more investigators are using approach uh, that I call this more integral approach, which go cut across across the, all the uh, division uh, of uh, brain research, such as molecular, cellular neurobiology, to system neuroscience cognitive neuroscience, and sometimes even integrating um, computational uh, neuroscience. Because this, this, I believe, is the way to go, and, it, um, and I think it will happen that way. Another point is that I think more people are now um, working, uh, using up an approach which will uh, address the um, the causal relationship rather than correlational relationship of uh, events and uh, processes occurring at a different level of complexity. After all, human brain is the uh, most complex machine ever assembled on this uh, planet. So we need everything, we, uh, every approach uh, that uh, we can use. So that's all I want to say and uh, just uh, I want to thank a few people, uh, of course, uh, speakers, uh, and as well as the, uh, many of the people in the audience for uh, thought-provoking uh, questions and the discussions. I want to thank uh, Rifei for leading, uh, organizing uh, this uh, symposium. And also, uh, uh, last but not least, the uh, <coughs> you know, conference like this uh, requires the devotion of uh, uh, many people uh, for the logistic execution. And I want to thank uh, uh, many people in the Pikawa Institute uh, headquarters. Uh, particularly, I want to, uh, many people contributed, but I want to uh, thank you, thank, thank particularly Asha Marking, uh, Alicia Marking, and uh, 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 Kessler. Uh, uh, and uh, for their uh, for their uh, devotion, please join me in uh, 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 giving them an applause.
Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I think that's it. And uh, I think there will be. Yes, there will be a, a reception uh, outside in the, uh, the atrium. And uh, I was told everybody is invited. So have a fun. <laughs>